let's freaking go. I'm ready to run through a wall right now. The college football playoff semifinal is here. And can you believe it? Marshall, Coach Mayo are in this position. There's the bracket, the number two seeded Thundering Herd taking on Clemson in the Sugar Bowl, while the number one seeded Crimson Tide takes on the Stanford Cardinal in the Rose Bowl. Friday, January 2nd, 8.45 p.m. is the kickoff for this one. It's been quite the journey, but Coach Mayo has this team believing in itself, and now we get a shot. This Clemson team is legit as they come. A-plus ratings across the board, led by the number one offense in the country and the Heisman winner at QB. This is the greatest test we've ever faced in Coach Mayo's tenure. While the offense gets all the attention, the Tigers can play on both sides of the ball, number six in total defense and number three in pass defense. And on the ground, they aren't bad either. The roster is loaded. Stud skill position players, studs along the trenches, impact players everywhere, and you know a team is good when their Heisman winning QB has only the 10th best rating on the roster. Lee is going with the Tigers, as I'm sure much of the country is too. Will Marshall prove that it belongs, or does the party stop here? Let's find out. The Caesars Superdome in the college football playoff semi-final. Here we are. Grant Wells on the rollout on first down. It's Keaton. Good little juke, falling forward 16 yards, a good start to the day. Welcome in everyone, excited to have you for the All-State Sugar Bowl. Marshall taking on Clemson, as we go inside give to Ali on this first down. Full disclosure, I've been out for a week with COVID, as Ali breaks this one off inside for 14. This is my first time recording any gameplay, recording my voice, so if I'm struggling at all, let me know. Ali's not struggling. Seven more and what's shaping up to be a really good drive for Ali. Wells, deep drop, under pressure, he's drifting right, he's being chased, he's gonna go down. That is a massive sack, 18 yard loss, KJ Henry. Wells just kinda caught in no man's land there, leaving us a third and 21 under pressure, he almost gets this one intercepted. Quickly, fourth down. We do indeed punt it away. Felt like we had a really good drive going. DJ gets his first snap, pace. Breaks a tackle, Jackson misses another one. No way. One touch to the house, Kobe Pace. 69 yards on this first carry. And Clemson, like that, is up seven, nothing. Marshall's defense, especially on the ground, which has been so great all year. It's all gone, one touch. That is absolutely insane. Shows you just how dominant this Clemson offense can be. Wells trying to make a good response. Gets this one out to game for 15. I was just trying to update you guys. I've been out with COVID. The wife and I both struggling. Missing a week. Ali breaking off two guys. Clemson scoring on the first touch. It's just a lot. A lot going on to start this one. Really excited to be in this game as Wells throws a strike to Gamage for 19 more. I mean, we really were off to a great start on that opening drive. It fizzles after the sack. Wells ran into trouble, and then one, one play, and it's over. Clemson already up 7-0. Counter to Ali. All of that to go negative two. Coach Mayo's squad has played some good teams. We're undefeated against the top 25, but I think it goes without saying this is a different animal. Great run, great vision by Ali. Obviously, if we're going to get it done today, we're going to have to be really, really good. Keeping up with these guys. Wells, zone read keeper, picks up a great block by Ali. He's into the end zone. 25 yard touchdown run on the zone read keeper. That was on the third and six. We were pretty content just kind of playing for a fourth and short opportunity, maybe a kick. Wells, with his athleticism, turns this thing upfield, gets a great block by Ali, and it is a tie ball game. Well, okay, I see you, Marshall O. Way to get it back as Kobe Pace gets another touch and he's continuing his strong effort, five more. Obviously, we're gonna spend a lot of time talking about DJ, Heisman Trophy winner under center. I did not expect Pace to be so dominant as DJ finds Allen for no game. Really, really strong start by Marshall. The D obviously needs to clean things up, make some tackles in the run game, but the O does a nice job moving it as Williams gets this one on the sideline. Steps out of bounds after 17, but that's a really good snag by EJ Williams. We're actually incredibly lucky that he stepped out. He had room four days. Spectre in the back of field, speed option. Flips it out to him. Gilmore is there. Tackle for loss, Gilmore. Okay, here we go, second and 12. DJ in the shotgun with pace. Has great protection. Drifts out right, launching to the end zone. 
Abraham Bruh. is there. He misplays it. EJ Williams, this ball's slightly underthrown. Works his way back to his to his quarterback. Excuse me. Abraham comes up late to make the play. Doesn't play the ball. Doesn't play the man. Micah Abraham, completely blown coverage. And just like that, Clemson's got another touchdown. Oh, man, that breaks my heart. 14-7 Clemson. Josh Bowers getting his first touch in the air, and he's got room. 40, 45, 50 across midfield. On the other side of the 40, 30, 25, he's drugged down. Josh Bowers with a 73-yard return. Are you kidding me? Oh, my gosh. How did they trip him up? Josh Bowers, kick returner of the year, continues his ways. Six yards for Ali, and we are back in the red zone. I tell you what, this first quarter's got a little bit of everything. Wells making a check on second and four. Blitz is picked up. Oh, he had Keaton over the middle. He just missed him. Really important early third and four. Inside the red zone, Ali met right in the hole. He's got a yard, but he does not have the first. Massive decision for Coach Mayo. Fourth and three. Obviously, chip shot field goal range. He's deciding to keep the O on. Is he going to try to draw them offside? No, he does snap it. They give it inside to Ali. It is completely swallowed up. That's a turnover. Oh, my goodness. Bold decision. Coach Mayo, let's hope it does not backfire on him. As DJ on first down flips a lollipop out to Justin Ross, who's got the first. I love inside runs out of shotgun. I really liked that play call. It just did not work for us as DJ throws a strike. It's Williams again, 23 this time. Likely the final play of an electric first quarter. DJ giving to pace. He's met in the hole. That's an Eli Neal TFL, baby. Second and 12, DJ setting, looking left. Another lobbed out throw to Ross. Breaks one tackle, drug down. As I was saying, though, I love inside handoffs out of shotgun. That one backfired. Third and five. DJ settles under it, underneath to Allen. He's got four, he's a little short. A little too far to kick it, a little too close to punt it. Fourth and one, DJ keeps the offense out there. Settles, looking left, oh my gosh. We leave Collins uncovered, he smokes Bowers. Falls forward, Dakari Collins has 10 and a first down. DJ, shotgun pressure comes, we get underneath it, we don't get home. Bowers takes a bad angle on Spectre who's got a 25 yard gain. Bowers obviously an elite returner, not great in man coverage. All that speed, not a lot of agility or coverage ability. DJ gets smoked. Magic Jackson there on the tackle. Jackson not really known for his tackling prowess. Missed a tackle on that opening touchdown. DJ keeps again. He's short again. Third and goal from the one. DJ in shotgun with pace. Inside give, no it's a keeper. We read it all the way. Tyreek Bell is there. TFL, fourth and goal. What a great play by Bell. Clemson tacks on their field goal. We've now got a 17-7 score. I can't tell you how important it is to get that drive. Keep them out of the end zone as we hit Keaton 20 yards. Beautiful pitch and catch by Keaton and Wells. The passing game has been kind of nice early on. Wells flipping the play. He gives to Ali straight up the gut. Falling, landing on top of bodies, he's got five. Makes a check, gets the ball, drops, pressure coming, rolling left, blown coverage downfield, that's Corey Gamage! Wide open at the five, he's gonna walk in untouched. 49 yard touchdown, Grant Wells to Corey Gamage. We ran four verticals, I believe we caught them in cover two. We definitely did, the corner drops off, Wells escapes the pocket, the safety carries Devin Miller to the end zone, and we've got 14-17 game. Absolutely beautiful. Now both teams have had blown coverage play in the secondary that leads to a deep touchdown. It also means our decision to not take points in the red zone, go forward on fourth down is the only thing separating these two teams right now. Great play by Reynolds. DJ's going down for a TFL. Third and 11. DJ's got the ball. Stops looking left into tight traffic. Eli Neal dragging down the big tight end. Love to see it. Clemson punts. DJ, 10 of 10 with a touchdown already, but it's Marshall who's got the ball back. Clock are running. Wells, quickly looks left to Bass. That is red well. Great defense by Clemson on first down, setting up second and seven. Ali wiggles his way upfield, he's got six. Third and short, Ali sneakily effective. Five yards per carry right now. I know it's early, he's doing okay though. It's gonna be a little short there, fourth and inches. 
Another huge call in this ball game. Fourth and inches, Grant Wells. Big snap, decides to snap again. Oh my gosh, he had people closing in on the hole, but he falls forward first down. Well, we can officially say Coach Mayo came into this one, pulling out all the stops. Said if we're going home, we're going home on our terms, Bass. Corner out, floated 26 yards and a first down. I certainly wouldn't say our offensive line should deserve any awards, but they have held up so far pretty good against this tough Clemson front seven. Ali's got two and a short pickup. One minute to go in the first half. Wells flipping this one, running up the middle, but going nowhere to Ali, third and eight, and a timeout by Marshall. Wells in the shotgun, setting, stepping up, getting tackled and drugged down. Great D by Clemson, fourth and five, no more trickiness, let's just take our points. 17-7 as Hayes drills it, and that is gonna do it. That's our halftime score. Hard fought by both teams, lots of action. Can't wait for the second half. Oh yeah, third quarter time. DJ, speed option, out of the shotgun. He picks up a couple blocks on the edge. He gets forced out by Reynolds. You gotta feel like both teams are fairly happy with how they played in the first half. Both teams able to move the ball. Both defenses had a couple moments. That's a heck of a play there. That is a Price and Eli Neal combo sack. Neal initially bumps DJ, Price able to clean it up. Third and three, first try of the second half. DJ in shotgun, tight formation, ends up giving it to Pace. Neal finds his way to the ball, he's short. Wow, that's an important stand by the Marshall D. Getting the ball back on the opening drive. Wells on the keeper trying to spin out of trouble, gets crunched. Motions Miller across. Wells gives to Ali, that is just swallowed up, no gain. Not where we wanna live, third and 12. Wells flicks it out left to Ali, no, he has to toe tap, he can't keep his feet in and a momentum going upfield. Bummer, Marshall forced to punt, giving it right back to DJ. This is Pace in the Wildcat, however, giving it to Williams, kind of stumbles, falls forward for seven. Gave us a different look on first down, Pace in the Wildcat, DJ's back in there on second and three. Under pressure, Price is there. Maybe that was an Owen Porter sack, it was, Owen Porter. Welcome to the ball game, big dog. Very aggressive, sending blitzes today, Coach Stoops and Coach Mayo. Pretty solid game plan defensively. Third and long, Jamari nope. all over it, ready for the screen. Time for another punt. Well, both teams exchanging punts here in the third quarter. Inside give to Ali, who falls forward spinning, got eight. Second and two, turn and give to Ali out left, nowhere to go, tackle for loss. Well, sets the protection. Heat comes, he stands in there. He's gonna throw it left, it's late. Jake Venables on the D. Wow, swatted down by Venables. Clemson getting it back again as the punt game continues. Nope. Bow playing, TFL. Both teams playing a lot behind the sticks. Second and 11 for Clemson, DJ empty. Shotgun, well protected. Drops this down to Bruh. Neal, he overruns Collins. Hardeman. Hardeman and Jackson combined to push him out. Collins has 25 yards. Eli Neal was all over this play. I think the ball just got there too late. Collins able to turn it upfield. He's got 25 big ones. Damn, you don't see Eli Neal miss too many of those plays. First and 10, dot. First and 10, Allen the motion man. Speed option with the pitch. That is another bowl playing TFL on this drive. Just about the 32 yard line, Clemson. Play action, throw over the middle, it's Reynolds! That's an interception! Naquan Reynolds, is he gonna outrun him? He is, DJ can't catch him. Are you freaking kidding me, Naquan Reynolds? The pick six, Clemson is driving. DJ's first incompletion of the entire day, he was perfect up until this throw. Naquan, just tracking in man coverage, is able to beat Spectre to the spot and then outrun DJ and the rest of them. Clemson offense, that is such a massive turnover and he's able to score it. 24-17, that is unreal. I cannot believe we just got that pick six. Let's see if Clemson can respond, pace. Great run, he's got nine. Get my man Naquan some oxygen. Obviously the quick change situation, he's gotta get right back out there. DJ keeps on the zone read. Ooh takes a big shot from Bowplan. We've talked about him all year. Naquan has really, really come on strong as that third safety. Now he makes a play in our biggest game all year. DJ on the scramble, 
cuts it up late. Oh, I thought he fumbled because the camera changed. He's got seven. About 30 seconds left in the third quarter. This game has been flying. DJ breaking a tackle. He's going to get drugged down, but he's got the first. I tell you what, Big DJ, so hard to bring down. Just can't seem to tackle him on the first try. He's got all day to throw now. Literally all day. Now tucks. Eli. Eli Bro. can't even bring him down. He forces a stiff arm. He's got the first again. I can tell you what, that's not going to get it done for us. we got to be able to bring down five or get to him in, in the backfield pace. Wildcat keeper. Great run. Magic Jackson with a sure tackle. That's the end of the third, and it's the money quarter. Fourth quarter time, college football semi. DJ, all day, flicks it out. Abraham misses. Bruh. Jackson misses. Pace is going to score. Horrible tackling on the back end by Marshall. You don't see it very often, but when it comes, it comes at the wrong time. Abraham, Jackson, no one else is there. Six for Pace. We are tied. Josh Bowers gets another chance. 24 all. Can he have another impact return? He's got some blocks up the left side. Gets another one from Gilmore back. Jukes falling forward. Does he have the space? Woo. He almost took this one to the house. 56 yards. Man, I tell you what, Josh Bowers to the rescue. Every single time Clemson has a big play touchdown. It's Josh Bowers right after. Quiets everybody. Man, this game has been fun. Second and three, setting up the screen. Wells flicks it out to Ali, picks up a couple blocks. Ali running, trying to get to the corner. He's got 15, gets drugged down from behind. Huge play by Ali. Great time to draw up the screen. This aggressive Clemson D has been coming at us all day as they continue. Tackle for loss. You know, I think we've worked really hard to get Ali the ball in a variety of ways, which is smart, but this Clemson D just so tough. Wells under pressure, getting flushed. Make sure you don't take the sack this time. He gets it away. Big time, third and 13. Wells in the shotgun. Protection holds up. He flips it to Bass and drops it. Field goal time. And they trot out Hayes. He gets this one up straight down the uprights. Marshall takes the lead. I am nervous. 27-24. Speed option, Eli Neal. Nah. These Marshall linebackers are consistently too fast and too smart to get fooled by the speed option. Second and 12. Sweep left to pace. There they are. Neal and Bo playing. Clemson one of six on third down. Third and 11 here. Huge, obviously, as we're under the six minute mark. DJ has all day, but nowhere to go. They run all curls concept. Sack. Incredible return by Bowers. I cannot believe that sequence. Three horrible play calls by Clemson. Now it's Ali who's bursting up the middle, trying to fight. Gets a great block by Miller. 21 yards for Rasheen Ali. Just on the outskirts of the red zone. Shotgun, pressure coming. Wells flicks this one out to Ali, minimal yards. Now a second and nine as Wells makes a couple changes, flips this play, play clock under three. Gets this one, stops, looks, looks, looks. Flicks on the run to John Bass. He's got him for 12 and a first down. And those two have been in sync all year as well. Bass and Wells connect in a huge conversion. Wells on the keeper, breaking tackles. He's inside the five, down at the three. Wells brings Richardson in motion. All the big bodies in there. Ali fighting his way. Will not be denied. That's Rasheen Ali scoring from two yards. What a tough grown man run down at the red zone. Well blocked up front, 34-24. Marshall has it, up 10. Wow. Unreal this game. DJ all day gets this one over Neal's head to Spectre. Huge response to start the drive. And they go no huddle. DJ's 15 of 16 passing. Just that lone INT is his only incompletion. Short motion by the tight end. DJ looking. Shakes concept. Gilmore's Bruh. out there, but he misses it. How many misplays by the DBs? I hate that as they continue the no huddle. We user control it. I thought we had a user pick lined up. That ball was under thrown. We were unable to make it happen. DJ all day, looks left. Williams gets hit. Abraham jars it loose. Man, what a play by Abraham. Williams and DJ have been with it all day. Cumberlander misses him. For some reason, DJ cuts it back against the grain. That's a TFL. Charlie Gray, I just saw in the ticker, Abraham abdominal strain. Will return soon, but two minutes left in this one. We'll see. 
Third and 15, they go draw to pace. Don't even try to throw it. Interesting. And yeah, we need Abraham back. They decide to kick. Okay, down 10. They want their points. Setting up now for the onside. Clemson. It's straight to Keaton. He scoops it. He's tackled. Two minutes to go. 151 to be exact. Marshall's got the ball. Clemson, all three timeouts. If we can get a first, could be a night-night. Wells, counter. Looking left, Ali. Bulldozing forward, timeout Clemson. I've not mentioned him once because I can't stand him, but Dabo decides to take the points. Down 10, that's a great play. Jake Venables, this is definitely what they wanted to do. They had to score twice anyway. Huge third and seven, triple option left. Wells, pitches late to Bass who cannot get there. And they take their third timeout, does Dabo. And here we go, oh my goodness. Fourth and one, we're in goal line. I'm not sure what they're doing. We run it forward with Ali, I think he got the line. He did, first down, and that's it. Victory formation, Wells and the boys have done it. Oh, no way. I'm shook. Marshall. Dabo goes down. DJ, the Heisman winner, goes down. And the dream continues for Marshall. Grant Wells, the player of the game. There's the trophy. Coach Mayo hoists with Wells. Sugar Bowl champs. And we continue to move on. Unreal how that whole thing just played out. 34-27 is our final. Marshall able to run out the clock, pick up the vital fourth down conversion to keep the final drive alive. Both teams atrocious on third downs. We win the turnover battle. We got two fourth down conversions when we needed them. Just an insane game. Had everything in it that you want. That's exactly how we want a semifinal to go. Wells, 11 of 16, 183 and a touchdown, 68% completion. That was a very Grant Wellsian stat line if I've ever seen it. The lone sack on that opening drive, I thought he played great today. DJ, 16 of 18, 283, two touchdowns, and maybe the most important. It really was. Ended up being the most important interception of the game. That INT pick six is the difference. Ali. 28 touches, 98 yards, just under the century mark. He does get in the end zone. I thought it was actually really good how much we got him involved. Obviously in an important game against a tough front seven, we were committed to the run with Ali and we used him on fourth and one for the biggest play of the game. Pace, what a stud. 10 yards per carry average. I didn't think they got him the ball enough. He goes for 101 and a touchdown, obviously the long of 69, but he broke some tackles. He was dynamic. He got a touchdown reception for them, and they didn't move the ball much with DJ in the run game. Gamage, 83 yards and a touchdown. He was good early. We didn't go back to him, but that long of 49 on the busted cover two deep ball, that was huge. Massive play for us. Bass and Keaton were fine. Ali was fine. Not a lot. Only 11 receptions in the pass game. Just not a lot going on. They were decent, though. EJ. EJ to DJ was strong all day, 111 and a touchdown for them. Pace also picked up his touchdown through the air. Ross, Spectre, and Collins were also important. I thought they threw the ball really well. Defensively, quietly, Josh Hardman, eight tackles, seven of them solo. Bo Plan and Neal also at the top of the list, as they always are. Three TFLs for Bo Plan. Neal had two. Porter, Edwards, Gray, Gilmore, Bell, Reynolds, and Price also chipped in with one. Quarterback sacks, Porter, Price, O plan got in the backfield today. And of course, Naquan, the pick six INT, obviously the biggest defensive play of the game from one of the most important players on this defense right now. Defensively for Clemson, Fred Davis leads them nine tackles. Bentley also nine tackles. He also got four tackles for loss, which is insane. He was all over the place. Davis, Henry, Venables, Murphy also get a few TFLs. Henry with that lone sack, and we didn't turn it over. Bowers. Five kick returns, 195 yards, a long of 72. I think he had 72 and 56. Incredible. The Sugar Bowl trophy is ours, but we've got more hardware in mind. The question is, who stands in our way? 12-1 Stanford versus 13-0 Alabama in the Rose Bowl. Let's see who wins it. And it's Bama. We get Bama. Saban's boys get it done. Back-to-back -back years, Bama is in the championship game. 
this CFP is a juggernaut, Clemson and now Bama. But hey, they say to be the best, you gotta beat the best. And if we're able to pull this off, this title will be undisputed. Our national championship is up next. An incredible episode today. Thank you guys so much for the love and support, especially while I've been out with COVID. Do we have enough gas in the tank for one more? We'll find out next time. Stay safe, take care of yourselves. Peace.